Hey there, welcome to Tim Talks Cooking. I'm Tim and today I'm making a couple of Indian dishes and for that I'm going to need some paneer. Now, paneer is not a product that I can find on the shelves of the grocery stores around here, so I have to make it and I'm going to show you how to do that with whole milk. This is really a cool recipe. I think you're going to like it. It's also a great way to make some really tasty Indian food at home. Let's get started. In this pot, I've got four liters, that's a gallon, of whole milk that I'm heating up gradually over medium heat. I'm stirring it frequently because I don't want it to burn on the bottom at all while I do this, but I do want it to heat up relatively quickly, not too quickly. Anyway, to that, I'm going to add a chemical that's going to make our cheese a little firmer. If we don't add this, and this is optional, but if we don't add it, the cheese will be crumbly and kind of soft. Here, this will firm it up a little bit. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of calcium chloride here, and I'm going to add that to a couple of tablespoons of water and stir it in. And I'm just going to add this to our mixture. I'm going to stir that in, and we're going to stir it pretty frequently here. What we want to do is eventually to bring the milk to a boil. After about 10 minutes, the milk is good and hot all the way through, and I'm going to turn the flame up just a little bit and continue to stir pretty constantly here so that this doesn't take all day. After about 20 minutes, I turn the heat up to make this boil more rapidly. It's just about to happen here, I think. A couple more minutes. Now here, just about to boil here it goes and once it does it's going to start to rise up in the pot like this turn the heat off and add in a half a cup that's 125 milliliters of white vinegar and stir it in gently just like i'm doing here i'm going to continue to stir as you do this the cheese curds are going to form up the whey is going to separate out and I'm going to keep stirring. As I do, the whey is starting to clear up. This is, I think this is so cool, actually. Anyway, so continue to stir gently, just like this. And now I'm going to let this rest for five minutes before I drain it. Then Pour the curds into a strainer that's lined with cheesecloth, like I'm doing here. I'm going to get them all in there. And then rinse them with cold water. Rinse them pretty thoroughly. This will eliminate the taste of the vinegar. There we go. And give them a little shake. When it's more or less drained, fold the cheesecloth over the top, just like this. We're going to squeeze more of the water out by putting a weight on top here. I'm going to rig this up so that I can put as much weight on it as possible. And I'm going to leave this for about an hour, two hours. Now here's our cheese after an hour, hour and a half in the strainer. It's nice and firm, but it's a little crumbly. Not a big deal. What we're going to do is wrap it back up. And here I'm going to press it down into the bottom of a plastic container press it down nice and firmly and then we're going to let this rest in the refrigerator for about two hours at least before we use it in our dish and here it is after two hours in the fridge as you can see it's still a little bit crumbly but it cuts nicely let me just show you and even though it crumbles a little bit it holds together well and these are going to make really nice pieces for my dish this made 670 grams by the way that's like a pound and a quarter before i put my paneer back in the refrigerator let's give it a little taste just a little it doesn't have much of a taste paneer but oh yeah mm-hmm this really has a nice texture it's nice and firm it's creamy it has just that touch of sweetness i think you're going to like it I hope you try this recipe. I also hope that you will like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and it helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notifications bell. 
Thanks so much for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. We'll catch you next time.